We are now going to talk about the time across the screen, often called the time base or the sweep. If you look up at the top of the screen right up here, this is 5 milliseconds per division. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see these little dotted lines and those are the divisions. So this is 5 milliseconds and we have 10 of these divisions and so we end up with 50 milliseconds across our entire screen. So 5 milliseconds is the same as writing 0 .005 seconds. 0 .005 seconds times 10 equals 50 thousandths of a second, or 50 milliseconds. If I choose a different time base, such as 100 milliseconds per division, now we are looking at one-tenth of a second for each division, and we go across the screen here and we have one second. So the entire sweep across the screen is one second's worth of time. Take a look at what happened to our pattern. We now go from one or two patterns jumping across our screen to a whole bunch of patterns jumping across our screen. This is almost like a zoom where we have zoomed out to be able to see more patterns. Now if we go the other way and we go down to 500 microseconds, you see a pattern jumping across the screen every now and then. Well, if we take a closer look at something like this, what we'll see is that this is actually 500 millionths of a second. Notice how difficult it is to view the pattern when we are reading at such a small time base. 500 millionths of a second, or 500 microseconds, times 10, equals 5 thousandths of a second or 5 milliseconds. So this entire screen here is the amount of time that we had when we had in one division when we chose down to 5 milliseconds. So we took this section here and spread it across the entire screen. Every time we increase the time base we can zoom out and see more and more patterns. Here's 20 milliseconds per division and 50 milliseconds per division.